Welcome, welcome one and all, to Coffee Talk, a place of peace, a place of relaxation, where we will talk about Nintendo news, and have mysterious ASMR for absolutely no reason. Because I can. No other reason. <laughs> yes, as Tiny House Gamer says, and we're live. Hello, guys. This is What About Nintendo. Today I'm here with another episode of Coffee Talk. Just felt like doing a weird, wacky intro for no reason. Literally just because I can, as I said. Hopefully that wasn't too loud or anything. It didn't blow out anyone's eardrum. I was trying to be quiet by the mic so I could get that ASMR feel, but, uh... I have been too loud in the past, so I wouldn't rule it out. But, yeah, I'm alive now. I actually didn't send out the link yet, because uh, I forgot till literally just now. So I'm going to do that. But hey, how you guys doing? Hey, Raisins and Raisins. Hey, Tiny House Gamer. Welcome one. Welcome all. It was pretty quiet. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I'm just gonna send out the links here real quick while you guys just uh, tell me how your day has been, how your morning has been. If it's morning for you, if it's not morning for you, tell me how your day's been or whatever. I went, funny story, I went into my YouTube analytics and I saw like which countries are watching me. I mean, dude, it's like every country, it's like countries I haven't heard of, like watching me, I'm like, what? Do these people even speak English? How do they understand me? I don't, I don't know why they're watching me. Let's see, come chat. Latest Nintendo news, including Fortnite being semi-confirmed for Switch. And a new leak, new data mind. Splatoon, yeah. Splatoon two mode. All this and more in the latest. Discord not open. I gotta talk with my boys on Discord. All right, not have it open. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Capo, how you doing? Can I just say Fortnite for Switch isn't confirmed yet? It's just a theory because the Korean Game Awards have slipped it up and it's gotten wrong multiple times in the past. Yeah, I didn't. I know that. <laughs> You're sick. Oh, that sucks. Oh, did I? I did. Coffee tack. We got good old coffee tack this morning, guys. You're gonna have to attend marching band while you're sick? That sucks. Why would you? Marching band. I was never in band. I was never in much. I just kind of kept to myself. Boom. There we go. Did it work? There it is. Coffee talk. Fixed. Boom, done, amazing. What do you mean, coffee tack? Hey, look at the title, it says coffee talk, how dare you. I didn't just fix that because you said that, huh? No, for sure not. I am a professional YouTuber, -her, so how could I ever make mistakes? When's Disposito 2? I don't know what the frick that is. Hey, Tiny Tails, how you doing? Did I say that already? I feel like I said that already. I'm not sure. Uh, hmm. Was I even gonna talk? I have this topic up and I wasn't even sure I was even gonna talk about this. I know I was, I was, I was. So, it is literally a week before E3. 
if this was E3 right now, the present, like, this time next week, the presentation will have ended a minute ago or so. Assuming it's 30 minutes. And assuming my PC timer isn't wrong because for some reason my PC's messed up and won't let me set it to auto. So I have to manually do it and it gets off for no reason. Like, it doesn't count right. It, like, it gets off by, like, a minute or two. And then three and then five and then a million minutes. So, like, this time next week, boys. We're gonna have a bunch of announcements. Despacito. Despucatahibra. Despacito. I don't know what, how to pronounce that. What even is it? I don't know what that is. Here's off a minute, yeah. So, like, this time next week, we're gonna have the presentation under our belts. I'm gonna have live stream my reaction to that you guys have gonna be been in the comments freaking out I'm gonna be freaking out actually the plan maybe I shouldn't say this because it might not happen but I'll say it anyways because I'm stupid uh, <laughs> hopefully we can get Andres restart and uh, monolith gaming Sean from Monolith gaming and Andres from Andres restart uh, in a Discord, Discord call, not a Discord call, uh, Google Hangouts call, and we can like all hear our live reactions and stuff, and we'll be chatting together about it, as long as we're chatting with you guys in the comments as well. So that's the plan. I don't know if that will actually happen. Probably, maybe, hopefully, kind of, sorta. That's the plan. So, and no, just in case you're asking, you cannot be in the Discord call. It's just us three. <laughs> if everyone was in the Discord call, that'd be insane. De pasito, de pasito, or despacito, despacito. It's a song. Oh, <laughs> how am I? I'm not hip with the kids. I don't know these things. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're we're having coffee talk. It's weird being coffee talk after like a week of not having it. Because there was, like, no news last week, and I was feeling sick a lot of last week in the mornings. And it was, I was getting, like, no sleep, so I just slept in. So, that's why coffee talk hasn't been a thing. But we're back now. I'm feeling a lot better. I got up this morning, and I, I was like, you know, rise and shine, or else. I, that's what I told myself, and then I got out of bed. And I was like, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about some stuff. I don't even know if I'm, I feel like getting into these topics. I might just talk about my hype for, I might just skip and go to only the E3 topics. We'll see what happens. I know I have the whole title and thing, but eh, I've skipped topics in the title before. But let's get into this first topic. This is actually related to E3, and we can talk about our E3 hype. So this is the schedule, the detailed schedule for. Nintendo's E3 event. I know we've gotten a general schedule, but this one's a little more detailed than that. So, let's see here. At 2.30 p.m., so this is Monday, June 11th. At 2.30 p.m., the doors to Belasco Theater. You know, blah, 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 place where they're holding E3. For the opening rounds of the Tune 2 World Championship competition starts at 3.30 p.m. and lasts until 6.00. PM. The event is open to anyone who would like to attend. Starting at 12.30 p.m., fans can line up for a chance to receive a wristband that will grant them access to the competition. Wristbands will be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis while supplies last. We don't care about that. Everyone can watch the competition at Nintendo's E3.com or on Nintendo's YouTube channel and Nintendo's Twitch channel. I will be watching it, assuming that that is before... that that ends before the podcast. I'm going to be watching the whole thing with you guys live. Well, I'll be live-streaming that, so... Dude, June 11th, mon next Monday, that's when the live streaming starts. And we're live streaming every part of this. Every part. The the Splatoon 2 World Championships. We're live streaming the presentation. We're live streaming the Treehouse. We're live streaming the Smash Tournament. We're live streaming the final part of the Splatoon World Championship. We're, we're streaming everything. As long as things don't overlap. Hopefully things don't overlap. That would be kind of dumb. I don't think anything's overlapped. They don't usually, but... Um, yeah, as long as things don't overlap, we're streaming it all, and I'm going to be streaming for so freaking long. Hopefully my Wi-Fi holds up and doesn't be do, do super things. Hello, cool arrow. Hello. How are you doing? I'm not hip with the kids, drink Zelda mug. Hey, this series is like 30 plus years old. This is not hip with the kids. No. You know, I've been playing this thing since I, I've been playing Zelda since I was like two. This is not hip. Hmm. 
Mm. My coffee tastes. Oh my gosh! I think I was swallowing and trying to speak at the same time. She so was like, oh. My coffee tastes really good today. I don't know why. Last time we had coffee talk, it tasted so bad. You probably won't watch this two two part. That's fine. You don't have to watch everything, but I'll be live streaming it all for everyone who does want to watch. Get hyped for that E3. So, more stuff I'll be streaming. Tuesday, June 12th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the Nintendo Direct EV 2018 video presentation will feature games launching in 2018, including the recently on Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch system, but it's going to include things from 2019. This is just me speculating here, because like literally every year that they say it's 2018, they, they throw 2019 games in there as well. Uh, like, without fail. <laughs> I've never seen a what E3 where they said, we're focusing on 2018, or, you know, we're focusing on this year's games, and then they don't throw in, like, a couple games from the next year. Like, it always happens. <laughs> they try to trick you into thinking they're only doing that year, and then they're like, oh, surprise! <laughs> but it's not really a surprise, because I already knew. So, at noon, again, after that, we'll have more Splatoon 2 Championship Finals, and then after that, the Smash Bros. Invitational 2018, where we're going to see Smash 5 in action, because I do not think it's a part, I think it's a brand new game. And it's going to have all this kind of cool stuff, we're going to see it in action, we're going to see the new graphics, we're going to see all kinds of stuff. Probably won't be like a completely new graphics engine, but I think we'll have a lot of upgrades over the uh, one on Wii U. But yeah, any, actually, I kind of wish, you know, if... You know, you can go to E3 and just like be like, "Yep, I'm I'm coming to this tournament." Like, you can you can attend and, and get into the competition. You you just make your way in there. I suck at Smash, so I probably wouldn't get in, but I'd like to at least try. But yeah, both tournaments are open to anyone who would like to attend. Starting at 10 p.m., fans can line up for a chance to receive a badge that will grant them access to the competition, which I think is really really cool. I'll be live streaming that as well. And then you got Tuesday, June 12th through Thursday, June 14th. This is a five, what is that, five days? No, no, four days. You got 11th, the 12th, the 13th, and the 14th. That's four days of E3 in a row that I will be live streaming. Oh my gosh, so much live streaming in a row. Just E3. So immediately after the Nintendo Direct, E3 2018 on June 12th, Nintendo Treehouse Live will begin three days of live gameplay. Last year, they only did two. This year, they're doing three. That means they got some good games here that they need to discuss. So, yeah. Appearances by Nintendo Treehouse members and developers and insider look at games starting with the upcoming Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch. So, we're starting with Super Smash Bros., which means, obviously, they got to show some good stuff that isn't, you know, just the Wii U one. Uh, more evidence that it's not a port, because what would they talk about if it was just a port of the Wii U one? I mean, they can talk about a few new characters. Eh, I don't know. Nintendo always has surprises. Yep, smashing the Octo expansion. Hell! Oh! Hey, Robear2. Did you know that it's technically Smash 6? I can consider Wii U, 3 or Smash 4 and 5. You don't know which is which, though. Yeah, I mean, it depends on... Yeah, in Japan, a lot of them consider it Smash 3DS is 4 and Smash Wii U is 5 because 3DS came out first. I don't consider it like that, and I don't think... They'll brand it as Smash 6. They might. I think they'll brand it probably Smash 5. Because it's it's pretty much one 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 game. Like the, the content is not not different enough in my opinion for it to be a completely different game. It's more like four and four I guess you could say four and four point five, but I don't think it's a whole five. I know some people in Japan, like Sakurai kinda sees it that way. But I feel like just for the sake of branding, I feel like they'll they might go for Smash 5. They may not even go for... I don't know if they care at this point, because the name might have nothing to do with 5. I just like the fact that V is 5, and then you could have, like, S of Versus. So Smash Versus, but it's a 5 for the V. The V is a V and a 5. I, like, that'd be dope. I don't know, though. For three days, E3 attendants will get hands-on time with games at Nintendo's booth, including Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch and... Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Interestingly enough, a reservation is required to play the Smash Bros. game. All of the games will be able to play first come, first serve basis. Weird, you have to have a reservation to play Smash at E3? What? Wait, 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 what? You have to have a reservation to play Smash? What? This has never happened before. What? Not as far as I know. You never had to have a reservation to play Smash at E3. 
What is this bullshit? What is, what is, what is this bullshit? He tried to tell me I have to... I, I mean, I'm not going to E3, but if I was, like... <laughs> what? With the full reservation? What? Yeah, they're pretty much the same Smash, but it's weird. I don't know. Yeah, they have a f they have different stages and stuff. I just don't think it's different enough to be a different game. Maybe like half, like a like a four point five, as I said earlier. Do I think Sakurai would be a playable character in this Smash? No. It should be like four point one, four point two. Yeah, I guess, but like, Smash rounds don't take that long. You could just get into a Smash round, and then the next bro, you beat the round. Next person in line, go. You beat the... Okay, you, you, the round's over. Next person in line, go. Like, it's not hard. And then just... If you want to do it again, go back to the line. I don't know. That's kind of weird. But we are going to see a lot more Pokemon Pikachu and Pokemon Eevee this E3. Uh, they really need to clear up a lot of stuff on that game because it is confusing. Nobody really knows what's happening with that game, I feel like. But yeah, I'm going to be uh, talking all about this. We're gonna be live streaming all of this. It's gonna <laughs> four awesome days of E3. It's gonna be great, dude. I don't know what you guys, but I love the treehouse most of the time. Sometimes they're a little cringy, but most of the time they're really funny and really good. Maybe not really funny, but really good. But yeah, I feel like I've talked about. You know what? We we gonna keep the E3 hype train rolling. We're gonna keep the E3 hype train rolling. Where's my next E3 one? Do I have an XC31? I think I do. I thought I did. <laughs> oh, I do, I do. I have like three more. So. Something that's probably nothing, but we're gonna speculate about it, is that a GameStop system update has added 10 plus Nintendo Switch SKUs. More than 10 Nintendo Switch SKUs have been added. And all the SKUs are $60, but don't have any title. So, uh, here, I'll show it to you right now. Spike capture. Boom, right here. Let's see, let me zoom in. There we go. Here it is, the available SKU, switch, street date, just generic, 1231. And I don't really think this is much of anything. This happens like all the time when companies are just anticipating new titles on a platform to get announced. This doesn't necessarily mean that every single one of these will actually be a game, but I thought we'd be fun to speculate what games these could be. So, I am gonna go over, I'm just gonna do 10. Let's see, I'm thinking Animal Crossing, uh, Animal Crossing. Star Fox Grand Prix. Let's see. Um, what new game? Other new games could this be? Uh, Fortnite. And I'll tell you why a bit later. My background music's always on point. Nod, nod. Thank you. It's just a random playlist I found on the internet. Can we buff Bayonetta? She seems underpowered. Uh, I guess they could just not let people get back in it. I don't think it's a problem. Maybe. Maybe Nintendo thinks it's a problem, obviously. Hmm. FIFA 19. That's, that's, that's pretty much confirmed. Uh, let's see here. NBA 2K19. It's five. Do they have Pokemon? Let's go Eevee. Let's go Pikachu already up. That's a good question. I'm going to say there's going to be a Mario Party game. Maybe there'll be a Mario Party game. That's six. Uh, you guys tell me what you think is in the comments below. Or to the side, because this is a live stream. Is it to the, that way? That way? One of those directions? That way? No, that way? I think? I don't know. Let's see, we got six. I'm gonna just say Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So I think that that's gonna be announced. Let's see, what other? Third party. Let's see if third party games could be announced. Hmm. Let's see here. Do they have Smash up already? That's a good question. See, I don't know what they have up already, so I'm not really sure if I should include games that have already been announced or not. So I don't know what they have up. 
We got seven so far. So there's ten. That's a lot. Unless they got some surprise announcements up there. I don't know what these could be. Hmm. Pikmin 4. There we go. There we go. We got eight. Just need two more. I already said Animal Crossing. Oh, I need two more. Let's see here. I don't think any of these are going to be in these. So. Hmm. Hmm. It's tough. I gotta think of two more. What would I like to say? Maybe there's some. <laughs> yeah. uh, Luigi's Mansion. We'll go with that. I don't think it's actually gonna happen, but that'd be awesome if it did. Luigi's Mansion 3. There you go. That's nine. What could be the last one? Just need one more. Skyward Sword HD. There we go. We got ten. Those are my ten. You can write them down. You can predict them. If I don't get them right, which I probably didn't. Uh, <laughs> you can come back and hate on me for the rest of eternity. But, yeah, I just thought that would be kind of fun to see what we thought. Because um, I don't actually think there's much of anything to that. Honestly, probably not much of anything to it. It's probably just them, you know, just throwing up stuff in preparation. So that they can easily throw in the title and date when needed. Did I delete the... I deleted some... For some reason, I deleted the tab. <laughs> I'm trying to go back out there. The game you want most for Switch, not projections, is true sequel or a port of Thousand Year Door, then Animal Crossing, then Pikmin 4, and a good Mario Party. None of that cart crap. You mean the car? Oh my gosh. I think you mean car, not cart. Oh, the car. What? Uh, <laughs> no. I don't think they're going to make the car. I think. Ooh, there. I think they've been going kind of back to basics a little bit more. Lately, with their Mario Party games, like the ones of the 3DS, like the top 100, that's obviously all old games, old mini games. They went that other one that wasn't in a car, but it wasn't a real traditional board game. Uh, it wasn't a traditional Mario Party, but it wasn't in a car. I think they've been going a little bit more back to basic. I think if they made a new Mario Party, they kind of know that, like, it's not gonna sell if it's in a car. <laughs> like, nobody wants that. And it's been pretty obvious, the backlash has been huge. So I don't think it's gonna be in a car. Hopefully not. And then it'd be stupid if they put us in a car again. Just absolutely stupid if they do that. Let's get into the last E3 rumor, then we'll just I think we'll have a little bit more time so we can talk about some other stuff. But I wanted to focus on E3 because it is a week for E3. And I am ridiculously hyped for E3, man. As usual. And it's only going to build as we get closer and closer. Like last night when we were in the podcast, and I realized it was just about a week, like a couple hours from being a week before E3. Like, it didn't even set in. It hasn't even fully set in now. The ramifications of the amount of, t like, little time we have. And I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. Uh, the first of my E3 I'm going to be doing a lot of E3, drawing my E3 predictions videos, a bunch, a bunch, as many as I can do before E3, and the first one's coming out today, hopefully I can start on another one today and, not, and get it out for tomorrow, and, I, and just keep doing that and get it out every day of the week before, oh, every day this week, so, should have four of those out. You know, I think you're drop a new, my voice is dead today. Drop a new Golden Sun for the Switch on E3. So many people is asking for it, and I think that they don't have more surprises left. Oh, they have a bunch of surprises, my friend. They have a bunch of surprises. But, that'd be a good one. Golden Sun. I've never played a Golden Sun game, but I should. I really should. I've heard really good things about it. It looks cool to me. Um, I want to play it. I just haven't. Let's get into this last one, and that is that logos for, oh gosh, Switch titles at E3 have been, if I can go back and stop being stupid, have been leaked, supposedly. But, so the latest rumor, this is the latest, is about E3. It's from 4chan user, which I know screams wrongness. But, I don't remember which leak it was, but there's actually a recent 
excuse me, leak that started on Fortune that a bunch of people are saying are true. And I think it did get announced, or it's going to get announced. I don't remember. Was it? Was that Pokemon Let's Go was also there? I don't know. Or maybe it was Star Fox. Was that on Fortune? I don't remember. There was one that was actually like being backed by a lot of people, and this one is too. So there are logos for different games. You got Dragon Ball Fighter Z. You got Fortnite. You got I'll actually just show you here. Why is it so freaking zoomed? Oh, because I'm an idiot. I zoomed it in. There we go. So I'm gonna show you right here. So we got Dragon Ball Fighter Z. We got Fortnite. We got Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. We already know that's a thing. We got FIFA 19. We got Killer Queen Black. We got Starlink Battle for Atlas. This one we already know is confirmed. This one's also confirmed. Paladins, oddly enough, a Battle Royale. Is that a play? No, it's not a Battle Royale game. Excuse me, that's like Overwatch, uh, which I think would be really cool. I, I, I did I get that on PC once? I think I did. It was pretty fun. I was going to get it on PC at least. Overcooked 2, which I've never played the original. I wanted to because I heard it has really good Angel and Mario Tennis Aces. And apparently this is real because a lot of people are backing it. A lot of people are backing it. A lot, a lot, a lot of people. Um, I should go back and see who they were for certain. I think Kotaku was backing it even. Yeah, Kotaku and Destructoid have both stated that they believe it and have seen the same thing. Uh, Benny and the Ink Machine at E3. I think that's an indie game. They're not going to talk about many indie games at E3. Uh, maybe in the Treehouse. That could happen. There's three days of Treehouse, so maybe they'll announce that in the Treehouse. Nope, don't have to sneeze. Thought it did. Alright. This... It's pretty exciting. I think Fortnite coming to the Switch is... I mean, they keep saying they don't have plans for it. And I keep saying, yes, you do. Uh, and I think this is, like, another... There's nail in the... And just in the coffin for, like... Oh, it's gonna happen! That's not the right phrase. Of, that's not the phrase I'm looking for. This is another supportive evidence for the fact that I think Fortnite is definitely coming to the Switch. Even though they keep saying they have no plans to bring to the Switch. They, they have plans. They just don't want you to know because they want it to be a surprise. Paladins of the Switch is cool. I assume that would be free, right? Because it's free on PC. So a free kind of Overwatch-like game when we are apparently not getting Overwatch because they keep saying it's not coming, even though I think it's coming too. Uh, so Paladins of the Switch would be cool. I assume it would be free on the Switch. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. a lot of people have been really asking for that on the Switch after the last Dragon Ball Fighter game was on... Um, it was Dragon Ball Fighter, right? It was some fighter that did really, really well. I think it was the Dragon Ball Fighter. Uh, they did really, really, really well on the Switch. People have been asking for this. Um, and, yeah, other than that, I don't really care about much. Mart Surrounder, that's kind of cool, weird and new. Uh, FIFA 19, bleh, bleh. Nobody cares about FIFA, uh, except those weird European people. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You guys are awesome. All my European fans out there, you guys are great. Yeah, I don't really care about FIFA. Killer Queen Black? I don't even know what that is. I heard there's like an old arcade game or something called Killer Queen, and this would be like a new title. A brand new title, never before announced, Killer Queen Black. Because I looked up Killer Queen Black and nothing came up. So I'm assuming this is the new new title in the Killer Queen's like, series or whatever. Here it's a really old arcade game or something, so they're reviving that, I guess. Uh, so yeah, this is just some games. Obviously, these aren't all the games that are going to be announced at E3 for the Switch. These are some of the games that will be at E3 for the Switch. And I think it's cool. But yeah. And the but. If anybody was like, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if Fortnite's coming to the Switch. Well. Apparently. The Korean Game Ratings Board has rated it. But as people have pointed out in the comments. They're not always right. But I think it's another sign. I do think. Uh. It's going to be at E3. I think too many people are backing it. I think there's too much stuff coming out about it. Uh, I don't know why a Korean Game Ratings Board would rate it if it's not coming out. Because doesn't it cost... I'm pretty sure it costs money to rate these games. Depending on uh, where, you know, you get it rated. It's just like... Nintendo be paying for these. Unless they're just like randomly rating games and wasting their time. It's like the Korean people are just, they're just like, Ah, we'll just throw this up because it's probably going to happen. I don't know. I think it's going to happen. What do you guys think? Do you think Fortnite's coming to the Switch? Would you even get Fortnite if it came to the Switch? That's a good question. That's, that's probably the better question. Would you get Fortnite on the Switch? I mean, it's free, so you might as well. But 
What if they added like skins? Would you pay money to get skins or just try to unlock them? Can you unlock skins? I'm not even sure. Would you pay for the battle pass to get like the skins and stuff? If there was, as Andre's restart uh, got the idea of, if there was a Nintendo map, would you pay like $10 to unlock a Nintendo map? Where you drop down and slight random instead of just you know like you know uh, tomato town and and dusty divot or whatever you got like all these mario places instead of freaking tilted towers and haunted what if what if they you know what i decided to study down. what if instead of like making a whole new nintendo map they just repurposed different things in the normal map to be nintendo themed like the haunted place like the the haunted what is it called uh, it's a haunted, it's, it's haunted, I don't know, the kind of graveyard place, what if they turned that into, like, Luigi's Mansion themed, and if they turned, like, Tomato Town into Toad Town, or, or something like that, you know, that could be pretty cool, I don't know, I'd pay for that, you might try it, but you're just not into those types of games, okay, yeah, they're not for everyone, I like them, I just like playing them with my friends, that's it. I only play them with like Andres and stuff. I don't, I don't play them by myself typically, unless I'm trying to practice so we don't suck. Oh, I love this song. Uh, Twilight Princess had a pretty good soundtrack. Gotta, gotta say, I didn't love those game. Uh, Twilight Princess, but it had a pretty good soundtrack. You know. So I guess let's talk about the final topic in the actual title. And then we'll, we'll pretty much be done, because none of the topics are... Well, we, we might talk about it. No, we might talk about that. But, apparently there's some more data mining for... I haven't been using any of the freaking... I, I made all these images for Coffee Talk. I ain't used a single one till now. Ah, I'm so stupid. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. Of course, this one isn't even... There we go. You saw nothing. Literally, last couple times, you saw nothing because I didn't put anything up. They'll let switch Fortnite and PC, Fortnite together? Yeah, they will. I'm pretty sure. It does really, really good with Fortnite. Uh, or, no, Fortnite. With crossplay, uh, you can crossplay with Xbox and PC and PlayStation and PC. You're going to be able to cross with Switch and PC. Probably Switch and Xbox as well because uh, they're buddy buddy. But probably not Switch and PlayStation unless the host has a PC because Sony is stupid. I went down about Splatoon 2. Data mined. A new ranked mode has been data mined. It's called Rocket. And initially, people thought that Clam Blitz was this Rocket mode. I don't know why they did, because that has nothing to do with Rocket. But apparently, that's what people thought. But turns out that's not the case there's clam blitz and then there's this other rocket mode which a video has actually come out for it i don't have the video here but they, i don't know if they even the video's even been around but apparently somebody saw a video of it and i could actually try to try to find this video they didn't put it in the link on uh, my nintendo news so they put it there um but apparently it is a new mode. Apparently, a rocket will spawn in the middle of the stage. The goal is to activate it by shooting the rocket and make it launch into your opponent's base. In the meantime, you can try to keep making the rocket launch closer to the base, as well as use a rocket nozzle weapon that can drop. Which is very... Oh, they do have it. It's right here. Alright, so... Let's watch this real quick. da 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 da, -da. I'm actually going to turn off the music for just a second. We're gonna we're gonna watch this. See what see what's up. Here are the rules for Rocket. Okay. A rocket spawns in the middle of the stage. Since we don't have a model in the game yet, I use a wooden box as a placeholder. Okay, so there's no model in the game yet. Shooting the vulnerable point, the rocket activates it. After a short time, it will launch into the sky towards the opponent's base. Oh, it, so he actually, like, literally, he's playing it, but it there's no model. So, oh gosh, <laughs> that's funny. 
A rocket nozzle, which this is not, will drop in the rocket launches. The rocket nozzle can be picked up and used as a weapon. Nintendo's, okay, go back. You were too fast. Nintendo's using the Stingray and the Rainmaker as temporary models for it. Weird. While holding it, your special weapon cannot be activated. The nozzle can be used for damage of the players to launch the rocket again. Oh, there it is. Oh, crap. Oh, that's cool. So then the rocket drops again. You gotta go over and activate it again. Weird. Launching the rocket more times will move it closer to the enemy. So rocket advances requires more damage to launch. Oh, okay. So you just want to get it over to the base. However, delaying the rocket launch will cause it to land a short distance that normally would on the enemy's side of the map. You'll lose control of the rocket if you take too long to launch it. Got it. Interesting. Oh yeah, that takes a lot more damage. Last time it was almost instant. Boo! <laughs> it's so weird seeing it without the actual model. It's just like, <sighs> just a box flies away. This rocket nozzle weapon is pretty dope though. Closer the rocket to the enemy spawn point, the lower your count will drop. Launching the rocket at 20 count will result in a knockout. Oh. So yeah, because I saw it was like 80 and then 60 and now it's 20, so just got to move it closer and closer. But the longer it's delayed, the less it moves, I guess, is what they said. So the longer the other team is shooting it and stuff, the less it moves. Okay. Losing control of the rocket. So much ink in that thing. It's like. <laughs> Guess he's trying to simulate losing control of it. You lost control of the rocket. It just explodes. And then what happens? He goes back to the middle? I guess. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Goes back in the middle. Okay. Interesting. Taking too long to launch the rocket. If you take longer, I guess it moves less. See, it went to 20 here, but where is it going to go if you take longer? The only 39. Okay, so yeah, the longer you take, shoot the rocket, and the more, because you, know, you can go just kill them and make, try to, you're trying to make them not be able to launch the rocket in time. But if they launch the rocket anyways, but they get it like right, but they, they take too long and launch is less. Okay, that's an interesting mode. It's a very interesting mode. Let me uh, turn the music back on. Probably could have the music on the entire time, because I thought there would be more need for sound, but there's not. Oh, turn this bike up. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, there's just got this rocket and you're shooting in it and you gotta like launch it with your ink and stuff. I think it'd be pretty fun to try out. I, keep in mind this may not come out. Like if they think it's just not good, they may just not release it. <laughs> like it may be in the game right now, but that doesn't necessarily have mean it has to come out. Uh, I probably will. Most likely, but there's always the off chance that they decide to scrap it and they just left that in the code. So, this may or may not come out. And most likely, there's a 90% chance that this will actually come up. There's a 10% chance that they actually are going to decide to not have it. Uh, but, I think it's pretty cool. You hope the nozzle doesn't do too much damage. That nozzle looks overpowered. <laughs> it really does. There's so much ink at least. It's like. Bleh, 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 bleh. Probably doesn't do that much damage though. Uh, and it seems you can only have one at a time. Apparently only one person can have it. So after you launch the, the rocket, it only drops one. 
and you grab that and then you can use it and it seems it disappears if you lose control of the rocket you just don't have the weapon anymore uh, that seemed to be the case at least to me yeah it'd be really OP let's see Ooh, hold on your friend showed you the video cool hey raisins your back your phone died okay your phone didn't find reasons to go on, so it died. <laughs> uh, it's like a garden hose. Dude, I know it's so much ink. It's just like, bah. <laughs> just like these huge waves of ink. Man, that'd be, if that was like a normal weapon, that'd be freaking OP. Dude, I wish Splatoon had more modes where it was just like crazy modes, like bombs on like your weapons is bombs and you could just like throw infinite subs and specials and stuff like imagine that imagine there's a mode where you all had infinite amounts of the uh the ink jetpack and you're just flying around in that special and you just have infinite amounts you're shooting everyone like uh, imagine how awesome that would be like we need modes like that modes where you just have like infinite specials or infinite subs or something really cool or just, you know, I, I think a mode like that would be really cool. Like like when you play Halo and you play Rockets and Swords only. Like that kind of stuff. That sounds like really fun. But they don't have that. Or like that one time when there was Fortnite and it was explosives only. Like that was really cool even though I didn't get to play it. Because I only had it up for a little bit of time. And I wasn't really playing at that time. So, yeah, they need to bring that one back. A lot of people would not understand how to play it, much like Clan Blitz. Clan Blitz, I still don't understand everything about that game. I'm not a huge fan of Clan Blitz. I think maybe if I figured it out, I, I've kind of figured it out a lot more than I used to know. Um, but I still don't really like it. This mode looks, looks, I don't know. Let's we'll see. Game where kills matter and the team with the most kills win. Yeah, like, why are these not things? Why are these not modes? Like, I don't understand. Maybe they'll add that to like Splatoon 3. Maybe they'll add it to the Splatoon 2, I don't know. But I feel like there should be more crazy modes like that instead of, like I like these whole like ranked modes and stuff where there's actual objectives, like, like uh, you know, different like real objectives other than just killing or laying down ink over the entire map. Like I think those are cool, like, but I also want just crazy maps where you just kill things or you have just random crazy stuff happen. Like that's what I want. Dude, I know it's so much more complicated. Oh my gosh. Dude, I saw the... When they first showed off that trailer, it made no sense to me at all. I'm like, oh, there's clams. Oh, they're picking up clams. Oh, they're throwing footballs. Oh, what is happening? I was so confused when they first announced that. It was, there was no hype for me at all because I had no idea what was happening. No idea what was happening. And then I played and I still had no idea what was happening. Oh, that, that was a mess. I think they could have shown that off, the clam blitz off a little a lot better. Actually, you know, just described how it freaking worked or anything. So, yeah, it's, it's a little ridiculous. But I was actually going to go into, like, there's like a bunch more topics. But we'll save them for tomorrow. We'll save them for tomorrow. Because it's kind of the week before E3, so there's not much news. So, And I don't want this to go on for, like, a bit in years so i want to have a coffee talk tomorrow too so i'll do that uh but thank you guys all for watching hope you guys had a good time talking about that e3 hype uh i think that's probably gonna get announced at e3 uh that ranked mode probably gonna get announced at e3 at least in my opinion uh they'll show that off as a cool dlc thing for splatoon 2 probably though when they because i think the the octo expansion will be there as well they might show that ranked mode as well so yeah Tower control, so since the rain are pretty basic, but a lot of people still don't know how to play it. I easily figured it out, but I don't know. Those are really easy. If you don't know how to play those, then I don't know what's like what's wrong with you. Because those are super easy to understand. There's a tower, you jump on the tower, you take it to where you need to go. Man, pretty easy. I mean, it goes by itself. It's not like you have to like tell it where to go. I guess Rainmaker could be a little, it was a kind of difficult to understand at first, but the, like you play it once and you kind of figure it out. As long as you, you know, you read the rules, it's pretty simple. Like Clan Blitz, you read the rules and you're still like, eh. <laughs> splat zones, you splat the zones, it's not hard. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 
Hoping that you guys are hyped about that E3. I'm super hyped. I get more hyped by the second, more hyped by the minute, more hyped by the hour. Every time I realize it's a freaking week before E3. Like, this time next week, we're going to be watching The Treehouse, man. We're going to be watching The Treehouse play some amazing Smash Bros. and other games. It's going to be so freaking hyped. Oh my gosh, I'm getting more hyped as I talk about it. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. You know what? Give me a big hype in the comments. Let's get a big hype in the comments. I'm going to put a big hype in the comments. Let's get a big hype going in the comments. Hype! I'll throw a big hype in the comments. You guys throw a big hype in the comments, too, if you're hyped about that E3. All right, I'll read this comment, too. Your friend is still getting used to ranked mode, and every once in a while she asks, Wait, is this turf? Oh, gosh. Sometimes when I tape, play turf a lot, and I go into ranked, like, I forget it's ranked, but like for a second and i'm like oh crap i forgot this is ranked um and sometimes when i play ranked a lot i'm like oh crap i forgot this is turf and then i'll go back but i don't like no <laughs> it's not that bad but yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys are super hyped about that e3 gonna be streaming it all hope you'll join me gonna be doing a lot of e3 predictions videos gonna have one coming out i'm gonna record some final stuff for that right after this and then upload it so you should see that in like an hour or two up on the channel so stay tuned for that yeah that's the big hype from tiny house gamer that's how you do it anyways guys thank you all for watching i'll see all of you awesome dudes why is my donation goal not working i just realized that my donation goal on my uh where is it recent donations needed to be refreshed so i wasn't giving the credit that you guys deserved i'm sorry but anyways i'll see all you awesome people later on what about nintendo Bye.